Governor Steve Bullock of Montana who spent a significant time as a politician bucking his party and failing to support the Democrat Party's gun control positions. Well, he suddenly changed his tune and is moving pretty far leftward. In 2016, when running for re-election, he opposed universal background checks, and he also claimed to strongly support the Second Amendment and that he was against changes to current gun law. Okay. Now there's a buzz that he might be a contender for the 2020 presidential election, and lo and behold, suddenly, He's moving towards the Democrat base. He's already reversed his position on universal background checks in an op-ed at the Great Falls Tribune just a few months ago. And now, when asked by Jake Tapper on CNN, he's now reversing his position on weapons bans. Watch. One issue on which you seem to differ uh, from many in your party is, is the issue of guns, the Second Amendment, gun control. You only recently came out in support of universal background checks, something that most Democratic office holders have long supported. Uh, many Democrats think that doesn't go far enough. They've pushed for what they call an assault weapons ban, a ban on so some forms of semi-automatic uh, weapons. Would you support a ban like that? You know, I would, Jake. It, if we l really step back for a minute, I think most folks that, be it in Montana or elsewhere, that are firearm owners want to keep themselves and their families safe. That's not unlike folks that say that all of these school tragedies and everything that's been happening, what do they really want? Those same values. Now, there are things that we could do immediately, everything from red flag laws to closing, sort of having a universal background check, um, to making sure that we're doing everything we can, some age restrictions and magazine restrictions. But let's begin with everybody wants to keep their themselves and their family safe and let's try to find those values where we can move things forward except that's not those aren't the values i mean i've been on a stage where people were applauding a total and complete ban of semi-automatic firearms i've heard people like the head of every town who said that they actually wanted a full-on gun ban it's this is so transparent you speak the language of your constituents the residents of montana to win election there and then once you set your sights on higher office well you abandon them and you start appealing to the people you next need. It's a typical, slimy, unprincipled political move. It's so swamp. And the worst part, Democrats will let him get away with it, so long as he kisses all the right anti-gun rings. You see, he was kind of stumbling all over himself in this answer to Jake Tapper. He couldn't possibly explain how any of these measures, A, would have prevented any tragedies, or how they would prevent any tragedies in the future. Because evil exists, and criminals will always violate laws. And because evil exists, that's not a good enough argument for me to disarm myself or other innocent free people to disarm themselves. In fact, that's the reason that we are armed, so that we can act, heaven forbid, if our skill set is ever called upon and goodness is called upon to defeat evil. And it's a shame that this Montana politician doesn't understand that and is looking to not only underserve his constituents, but also his promise to underserve anyone else that he may ever count on for a vote, the rest of the people in the United States of America. Well, let's hope his candidacy doesn't get that far.